good morning folks and welcome to part three of our September holiday vlog. So today is Wednesday, it's just coming to 10 o'clock and it is a beautiful morning. You can see wall to wall sunshine and uh, hardly a cloud in the sky. But uh, it wasn't always like that. Early hours of this morning, it absolutely lashed it down with rain. I mean, it really did rain hard, it actually woke me up. And uh, it was also quite windy, but I think that was something I ate. Right, so guys, the plans are for today. We're going to visit Applehampton House, which is uh, just a trip up the road from here. Uh, we passed it when we went to um, Kingston, was it Kingston Mainward, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, Kingston Mainward. It's on the same route as Kingston Mainward, so it's literally a 20 minute drive uh, up the road. So uh, that's it for today. Um, just a quick update of what we've been up to. So uh, yesterday, which was Tuesday, we just had a chill out day and we uh, went into Swanage and then had this stupid idea of uh, walking from uh, Swanage up to Durlston uh, Castle and Durlston Country Park. It's a, was it a two mile walk, something like that, isn't it? That doesn't sound a lot. It doesn't it? sound a lot, a two mile walk, but uh, Cliff walking. yeah, it was, uh, it's quite, um, it's not uh, walking on level ground, if you like, but guys. I think that it's, from the downs though, it wouldn't mean from Swanage Village itself. No, Swanage Town. Town was relatively level, but when, once you actually get up to the... Uh, More than a mile. Up to, the yeah, it's probably a couple of miles, uh, sort of there and back, and uh, we ain't as young as we used to be. Um, but it's sort of, it's not on level ground, so it was quite a gruelling walk. We have done it before, but every time we do it, it seems to get uh, a lot harder but once we were up there uh, there's uh, the Durlston Castle and there's a nice little uh, tea room or restaurant so we stopped and had a, a burger and just looked over the bay and then uh, we had a sort of walk along there's the famous sort of globe and uh, the lighthouse and we had a walk along towards the lighthouse and there is this uh, sort of group of people uh, peering down at the cliffs so uh, being a nosy disposition uh, we also had a peer and uh, it was a, what I believe to be a peregrine falcon. Now, I'm not a, a bird enthusiast in any way, shape or form, so uh, I don't know. But it was definitely some form of bird of prey and somebody that uh, I overheard somebody say that it was a peregrine falcon, but uh, I wouldn't honestly know. But uh, that was sort of made the day, really, didn't it? Because we just yeah. sort of sat there and, or stood there and, and uh, watched it and all these people with their cameras and tripods and all sorts of... Uh, paraphernalia taking photographs. Uh, unfortunately I didn't uh, take the digital camera because uh, I took my uh, old Pentax film camera because I've been uh, having a bit of a blast from the past with that so I've been doing some photography using film. So I did take some photographs but obviously it won't be very good time in their scan. But anyway that's another story. So as I say guys, Athelampton House. Uh, we probably won't leave here for the next half an hour or so. We're just going to chill out and then head towards Applehampton House for the obligatory tea and cake, have a walk around the house and then the grounds. So uh, we will catch you a bit later on guys, so bye bye for now. So folks, here we are, Applehampton House. No thanks to the sat-nav. Sent us in totally the wrong direction, but we're here anyway. So uh, our first plan is go to the tea rooms. Want you a cup of tea? Yep, we're going to go and have a cup of tea folks. And then, uh, which is just here, then we're going to go around the house. So, uh, we'll catch you shortly, guys. So, there we are, guys. Athelampton House. So, the plan is to actually go around the house first, and then the gardens. We are allowed to take photos, but without flash. So, uh, don't know why it's going to work, but that's the actual house. We buy a place like this when we win the lottery, yeah? Well, that's yet cleaner. To get a clean. Well, you're not going to do the cleaning then. But that's half a Lampton house. Before 16, 18, and died 1706. Peter News. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you see on the side? Yeah. Well, to survive. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> Yes, it's very much so, but the top actually still seals the infection. Um, <laughs> 
Well, of course, by your staircase. stairs <laughs> going to film and walk down the stairs at the same time oh, oh, reflect from me at That's where we just came up. What are these cups like plates? What are these cups and plates?
the statutes here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Lots of creaky floorboards. Didn't sneak up anybody while they were asleep, did you? This is a slightly more modern bathroom then. Purple walls, I don't know about the purple walls, I think. Shame we can't go in all the rooms. So guys, that was Atherlampton House. Absolutely fantastic inside. So now we're going to go around the garden. So we're going to swap over now and uh, I'm assuming this is the right way for the garden. Fact, it was only sold seven weeks ago to a businessman. Some businessman, yeah. It's only been sold, so he's yeah. Sell off everything. Yeah, sell off everything and uh, turn into some perhaps some sort of gallery or open more rooms. Anyway guys, we're gonna go around the gardens now, so we're uh, gonna swap cameras. So uh, catch you in a bit. Oh take out my phone's ringing. It's going to be a tad overexposed, I think. Oh, very much overexposed on that one. Ooh.
So folks, we got as far as here and then this spider leapt out upon Karen and uh, I haven't seen her since. She could be uh, wrapped in a web somewhere. So guys, that was Athelampton House. We're now heading back towards the car. Did you enjoy that? It's lovely. A lovely place, beautiful place. Well worth a visit guys if you're uh, in this neck of the wood and not far from our campsite. So uh, we're gonna head back towards the car now. Can I see the car? Where's the car? Oh yeah, in the corner. So uh, we're gonna head back to, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Back to the campsite or something else to make uh, use of this gorgeous day. Mm -hmm. Good well, if we do something interesting, you can come and watch. <laughs> <laughs> but if not, then we'll catch up with you later, guys. So uh, that was Arthur Lambton House. Well, good evening, folks, and welcome to the end of vlog number three. So today we took us off, off to Arthur Lambton House, which is a 10, 15 minute drive from the site, sort of heading up towards Dorchester. So we arrived there for 11s. So Karen had a nice treacle tart or treacle sponge. Uh, I had a shortbread biscuit thingy covered in uh, caramel and chocolate and very nice it was too. Then after we had that we then took us off and off to the house and had a look around the actual house itself, off a Lampton house. Uh, we did find out it's actually just been sold for a, a rather large sum but uh, we couldn't find out exactly how much. Then after we went round the house we then had a good look round the gardens. Very nice gardens, quite small, but uh, very nice, lots of little secluded areas with sort of themes, etc, etc. So we had a good look around there, took plenty of photos and videos, as you will see. Then, as it was such a nice day, after we finished there, we thought to ourselves, well, we're not going to go back and sit back at the caravan. So uh, we drove into Studland and uh, parked in, uh, I think it was Knoll Beach, isn't it? Knoll. Knoll Beach in Studland, which is sort of a, I don't know, the, probably the more popular of the beaches, I think, and uh, National Trust, so we didn't have to pay. So we had a wander around the, the beach, paddling in the sea, and uh, just enjoying the weather. We uh, made it nearly to the naturist beach, but uh, we decided not to venture forth. I suppose uh, if I would have wanted to look at uh, naked, wrinkly people, I might have just looked in the mirror. So... Uh, after that we just uh, came back to the caravan and had a bit of a chill out and then uh, this evening we went to uh, the Silent Woman. Is there such a thing? Well there is here. Uh, lovely meal again, I had my usual liver, liver and bacon. What did you have? Spaghetti carabinara. Is that right? Tagatelli carabinara. No, carabinara ta 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 So it was very nice, very enjoyable. So then we come back to the car and we're just chilling out now and deciding on our plans for tomorrow. So we're probably going to take ourselves off into Swanage tomorrow and have a bit of a look round. And uh, well, as you can see, guys, we've got this to spend. That's a, I think you see that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a year's worth of copper, twos and ones. So we are going to go into the amusement arcade and try and spend, <laughs> try and spend that. But uh, other than that, we're just going to have a chill out in Swanage, so uh, I won't be doing any filming tomorrow at all. So uh, we may catch up you on a vlog number four, which will probably be Friday, if anything. But for now, guys, we'll speak to you all again soon. Bye bye for now. Hi, folks. So we now fast forward four days to a Sunday, and as you can see, we're back home. 
So I thought I'd just do a little update on what we did on the last couple of days of our September holiday vlog. So I think we left you on Wednesday and we've been to Athelampton House, which was absolutely brilliant. So on the Thursday, the weather forecast was uh, quite favourable, bright blue skies. So we decided to uh, just have a day in Swanage. So uh, I left the camera back at the caravan and we just had a chilled out day, went for something to eat, just enjoyed the day, had a nice ice cream, do all the sort of usual holiday things that uh, you get up to. So that was on the Thursday. Uh, we went out for a meal Thursday evening uh, to, uh, where did we go? It was the Silent Woman, yes. We all know about the Silent Woman. I had my uh, favorite, which was liver and onion. Absolutely gorgeous. Karen had the uh, spaghetti carabinara, I think. But anyway, absolutely brilliant. So that was uh, Thursday. Now Friday, unfortunately, the weather took a bit of a turn for the worst and it absolutely chucked it down. Most of Friday morning at least, absolutely chucked it out. So basically what we did Friday, we stayed at the caravan, packed as much away as we possibly could. And uh, then the rain did sort of ease off a bit. So we uh, went back into uh, Swanage, bought uh, some sticks of rock for my mother because she's still on the search for pineapple rock. Actually did manage to get some this time. So uh, my mother got a pineapple rock. Uh, we had an ice cream, had a bite to eat, but it was quite dull. It was all right, but a, quite, quite a dull day, so we didn't stay too long. We actually caught the train in, and unfortunately, there was um, a, what shall we say, a nostalgic car show going on, which I wanted to go to, but the weather was so bad, we didn't even uh, venture forth to that, which is a shame, because uh, I would like to have gone to that. But anyway, that's another story. So uh, we came back to the caravan, probably four o'clock, on the Friday and just carried on packing up. We had to pack up a lot of stuff or a lot more than usual because on the Saturday morning when we were leaving the caravan had to go straight into our local dealer for its annual service and uh, quite a major repair on the back. Anybody that uh, follows me on uh, Twitter would have seen that we had a, a hole in the back. To be honest it looked like it had been shot at but uh, there was quite a quite a large hole in the back, about the size of a 2p piece I would say guys, so I'd, how the hell that got in there. Uh, we only noticed it when we went uh, away in um, May, not May, June even, sorry. Uh, when it got in there I don't know, but uh, that's gone in for a, a repair to the back, hopefully uh, a relatively inexpensive one. We were looking at quite an expensive insurance claim, but uh, at the minute it seems to be a a relatively simple repair but I will let you know how we got on with that but anyway guys that was really it so uh, we left there early doors Saturday morning uh, arrived home here must have been uh, I think we arrived at the uh, caravan dealership about 10 o'clock uh, picked the cats up at 11 and we're back home here by 12 o'clock so there you go guys that is the end of our teen holiday vlog so I hope you enjoyed it we had a bit of fun this time Probably not as many films up as uh, last time. We are slowly running out of uh, things to uh, visit and uh, film, so uh, it's getting a bit thin on the ground, guys. But anyway, that's it for 2019, or certainly our 2019 caravan holidays. So we will catch you all on our 2020 caravan holiday. So for both of us, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you all again soon. Bye-bye for now.